fuel for my rocket stove. I got a video on that thing too. I'll leave a link to that video in the description. Check it out. So this is the underside support for the carving we did for his bowl holder. And there you can see that I matched the bevel on the horizontal boards with the verticals. Just an added touch, didn't need to be done, but I thought it looked cool, so that's why we did it. Okay, so what I'm doing here is locking that top onto that base and I'm going to mark it out with a sharpie so that I can cut away what's needed to make the bowls pass through. Numbering the pieces so I can tell how to put it back together because they are pocket screwed in place.
so far I'm pretty happy with this spindle sander but it's pretty hard to beat that thing right there that belt sander will take off material three times as fast as that spindle sander So we had to take the tops of the posts off about an eighth of an inch in order for the bowls to sit correctly. And I could have done it straight, but let's try to make it fancy and copy the shape of the bowls. So I always have more fun when my wife is in the shop, and you're about to see what happens when she comes out. Rigid nail gun. Rigid, when only the best kapawi will do. Rigid. Better. Why don't you take that camera and check out who this is made for? See if he's working hard. Dedicated 
Getting my train of thought. Oh of this boy. Oh boy. He's up. He's moving. Here comes the inspector. Here comes the code enforcer. Hi, Atlas. Come here, code enforcer. Atlas. Be busy. Hi, buddy. He's busy checking for.
what I'm talking about. Do you have the checking to see if it fits? And then that thing happens. So I know it's only a dog dish, but we're going to fill these holes in where the canals are. This is the professional way of doing this. With your finger. When it dries, we'll sand them off. So we're down to the finishing, and I realized when I did this, I made a mistake. I should have stopped the mill and applied the stain to those grooves before it carved the image of the dog or any of the other words. That would have been much simpler. But as it turned out, it came out okay. A little bit of patience, and I was able to stain those grooves. The reason for the grooves is to try and make it look like planks on the top. And of course, we stain the inside of the holes. Now, Lisa hand-painted all of these letters and Atlas's image, all of these by hand. She did an outstanding job. She's got a lot more patience than I do when it comes to that stuff. And she chose the colors, the blues and the lighter and the darker blues and the black for Atlas. Obviously he has to be black. Now we're using Aura Mask on this thing, and that's why it's kind of a strange color on the top. And you're going to see her start to peel it right here to expose the actual color we were looking for. That Aura Mask is tremendous stuff. It's a booger to get off a little bit. Sometimes you got to get after it with some tweezers or whatever you can, pick at it to get it to come loose, but it does make painting a project a lot easier now we realized with this and you'll see this in a little bit that the letters and the image created a hollow in that top and it dawned on Lisa and I that how are we going to clean that when the dog food piles up inside it we won't be able to so I decided to apply some epoxy in those in those um, recesses to fill them back in smooth and I was as careful as I could be but as it turned out there was still some elevation in the epoxy that had to be sanded off so you can see here where I'm pouring the epoxy in as gentle as a kitten I was doing well until I got to the bottom half of this thing and then I just put too much into each crevice so we ended up taking this back out to the shop to sand it off smooth and in a minute or so here you'll see what happens when you go too far down with your sander. Basically what you'll do is you'll get to restain your entire board and that's just what I did which is not really that big of a deal it's just one more step added to the project. When we do another one of these, we will use uh, marine epoxy and do the entire top in one pour instead of multiple coats of polyurethane, which is what we had done on this one. And I let this epoxy dry for two days, two and a half days before I went after it with the sandpaper and obviously here I'm getting the bubbles out of the epoxy while it's still curing quick as can be with the torch and you're in good shape now here I am back in the shop smoothing it off and you can see I took the stain off I took everything back off but it is now a smooth surface with no recesses for dog food to pile up in